Hi everybody. Uh, this tutorial, uh, what I'd like to go over is how to rig uh, it's adding joints to a two-legged mech. And what we'll be using is uh, the IK handle uh, tool to uh, create a realistic joint system where when the foot will raise, uh, the um, elbow joint or the, the knee joint will flex as well. And it'll be a smart uh, type of joint system. So, uh, and then the second video of this uh, series will go over how to create a walk sequence. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, really easy. First thing you need to do is build your mech, and it needs to be made up of seven parts. So, uh, two feet, two lower legs, two upper legs, and a body. Okay, now only those seven parts. Let me just show you this, an example here, if I, uh, let me just center this pivot. If I move this out, uh, the legs, or the, this is the upper leg, now these parts can be made up of multiple shapes, but they need to be combined to, to, uh, to one unit. Uh, so here, for this, uh, for this one, if I, for an example, if I um, separated it, you can see this part was actually made up of a few objects. Uh, that I combined, as you combine, and put into place. So the mech can be as uh, detailed as you want, but just be sure that when it's all said and done, you combine these parts to make seven parts. And I can see right now, if I move some of these, oh, if I move them all over to the right. And see, I've left some parts behind, so it's good that I saw that. I'm going to undo, and I'm going to actually combine those shapes to my lower leg, and this one as well. Mesh combine. Okay, so I'm all set. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. All right, so let's get into jointing now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my front view. Whenever you're laying down joints, use your four views. Uh, so here's my front view, and I'm going to go up to uh, the polygon drop. The polygon drop down here. I'm going to go to animation. We want to be on animation right here, and I'm going to go to skeleton joint tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start my parent joint or my my um, my parent joint right, kind of in the center, a little bit high, uh, in the center of my uh, body part of my mech. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to stretch my next joint uh, down the center of the leg but right where it's going to rotate and meet with my body and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send another joint down to the knee joint where it would rotate and then where the lower leg meets the foot which would be right here. Now if I click my next joint where I want to spawn off from the parent joint, and I click again over here, you can see it's spawning off from the uh, the joint that's down by the leg. So I'm going to undo that. I need my joint to spur off from the parent joint and start over like we did with this with, with, the, with this side. So to do that, I'm going to press my arrow key up, up, up. So the arrow key, when you click it a few times up, it'll get to that parent joint. Now the next time I press to lay down a joint with my mouse, it is spurring off from that parent joint. I'm going to continue down to my knee joint and continue down to where it meets the foot. Okay, when I'm done, I'm going to press enter. And next, I'm going to take a look, and you can see the joint is laid in there, but they're really not in the right position. I need these joints to get into those into the knee portion of my mech. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my side view. Okay, so pressing spacebar to get to my side view. And you can see there's a few things wrong. Uh, these joints, I'm going to move. So I'm going to move the one, the joint right here. I can keep this one. Okay, that one's okay. It's on the body of the mech. But this one here, I'm going to click that joint. I'm going to move it so that it's kind of in the center of where my cylinder was. That uh, is what attaches it to the upper leg and the body. And that's why I kind of like to use cylinders 
because I can kind of see, or especially using cylinders in the joint areas, I can kind of see where I want to lay my joints a little bit easier. So now I'm going to take these, and, and you can do it one at a time. I'm going to put that in the middle there, and I'm going to take this one too, and work my way downward. Now I'm going to look at the foot. I'm going to move that right there, and this one right on top of that. Okay, let's take a look. Well, now that you can see, the joint is actually inside of my mech, and I can't see it. So when I'm in my perspective view, I can come to shading x-ray joints. And what that'll do is it'll allow me to see my model and also see the joints that are inside of it. So orbiting around, I can see, yeah, um, I'm pretty good. You know, the joints are in the proper position. And now what I need to do is I need to begin to parent these shapes to my joints to my joints. Now to do that, um, we're not going to be using, and you might have used this um, before, uh, skin and then there's um, the spined skin or the smooth bind. We're not going to be using that type of uh, technique for this mech. What we're going to be doing is parenting the shapes to the joints. So to do that, I'm going to first select the lower leg. That's where we start. And I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag select through until I click my joint and I'm going to press P. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to click my upper leg, drag, hold shift and drag across the joint and press P. Now I'm going to try it with my other lower leg. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hold shift and drag through the joint and press P. I'm going to now go to my upper leg, select my upper leg, hold shift, drag a selection through the joint and press P. I'm going to do it now with my body. I'm going to select the body of the mech. I'm going to hold shift and drag a box around that joint right there and press P. Okay. So now I've parented my shapes to my joints. I have not touched the feet yet. We'll get to those a little bit later. So now it's time, it's time to um, create a, a more advanced joint system. So what we want to do is we want this to behave so when the foot is raised, it's going to automatically flex my uh, knee joint. So to do that, we need to use something called an IK handle. And up here, I'll get it for you, go to Skeleton, IK handle tool. And it's really easy to use. All I'm going to do is click once on the joint that meets the body right here, on the upper leg to the body, click on that. And then come down to the foot here, and that joint right there, I'm going to click. And you can see what has happened. It has snapped a line down, connecting these two, but it's also turned my joint system pink. So now when I raise this up, you can see how it's behaving. And this is what we want. Now I understand it's not going to pick up the foot yet. We'll get to that soon. But what I'm going to do now is do the other leg. So let's go to the skeleton, IK handle tool. I'm going to click on the joint that meets the upper leg and body, and click on the joint that meets the lower leg and the foot. It's going to snap that line. I've got that pink uh, joint system, which tells me that this is going to work. Okay. I'm going to undo that move. All right, next. We're going to start working on attaching the feet now to the joint system, but we're going to be using something called handles. So it's very difficult to kind of select the joints correctly and move him. So what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of these handles that are kind of further away, and I'll be able to click those and they will be the handles used to move our legs uh, later on. So let's do that. And to do that, what we're going to be using is uh, text. So let's go up here. Let's go to Create Text Option Box. And when I click on that, uh, it's a great idea to go to Edit and Reset Settings just in case someone has used it before you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the letter uh, L and I'm going to say Apply. And then I'm going to type the letter R and press apply. I can close this out now. Where do these letters go? Well, they're going to go down on the zero, zero axis. Uh, so they might be underneath your model. So I'm going to move those out quickly. There's my R. There's my L. And these are the R and the L stand for left and right for each foot. So I'm going to make sure, first of all, I want to be able to see these letters from the side view and you can see that they're turned so I can't see them so I'm gonna actually take my rotate tool and quickly just rotate them around 
and let's make that exactly 90 degrees okay and I'm also going to move them a little bit apart so I can see, so I can read them and they're not on top of each other so I'm going to do that too uh, one thing that kind of gives me a little trouble is the inside of the R I'm deleting that so I have one spline for the R one spline made up for the L uh, it's just a little bit easier to work with all right next what we're going to do is I'm going to put these letters next to their corresponding feet so this is his right foot and this is his left foot let's go to the side view now and just like make sure that we can see both of those letters okay looking good all right come back to the perspective view and let's start to attach these shapes okay so real simple I'm gonna select the foot first <clears throat> I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag a box around the joint and if you select it correctly you should see it turns pink and then I'm going to press P then I'm gonna drag a box around the joint and again it should turn pink hold shift and select the L and press P so what has happened is now that now the L is the parent of all of these shapes so when I move the L you can see that it's going to move the leg so let's do that again with the right leg so I'm gonna select the foot first I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag a little box around the joint if you select it correctly it should be in pink and I'm gonna press P on my keyboard then I'm going to drag a box around that joint it should be pink I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag a box around the letter R and I'm gonna press the letter P on the keyboard for parenting I'm gonna test that out I'm gonna select my R and let's see if that moves correctly yes okay doing well all right uh, so this is a working mech now we've set it up uh, if I select these letters you can see they will be able to move uh, even the parent joint up here that selects the whole the whole mech watch what happens if I take my move tool and begin to move that down you can see it will flex I can even rotate my mech and you can see the bones will move or the joints will move so um, I'm going to undo these moves for my next video, which will be on uh, creating a walk sequence, a, a realistic looking walk sequence for this mech and this uh, type of joint system. So I hope you continue on and watch my next video. Uh, give it a try and good luck.